The authors of the hit NBC program The Blacklist have managed to thread together a seven-season storyline in which fans have no idea what's going on in terms of relationships and eventual destinations for its characters. Fans are left wondering what they can watch to fill the vacuum as the show prepares to go on hiatus for the summer. In today's video, we'll be discussing similar shows to The Blacklist that you need to watch. Blind Spot If you enjoy The Blacklist, you've probably seen The Blind Spot, but if you haven't, it's well worth your time. In terms of general feel, it's one of the shows on this list that most closely resembles The Blacklist. It was even partnered with The Blacklist on NBC's schedule multiple times over the runs of both shows. Although Blind Spot ended this summer after 100 episodes, it's a drama about an unlikely ally helping the FBI solve murders. In this case, a tattooed amnesiac, assassin known only as Jane Doe, played by Jamie Alexander, who is discovered in a duffel bag in Times Square, similar to The Blacklist. The show, like The Blacklist and the subject of Who is Red Reddington, gets a lot of mileage out of unraveling Jane's secret origins. It's a suspenseful, action-packed conspiracy thriller with a peculiar sense of humor. Persons of Interest The core concept of a new bad guy every episode in The Blacklist is shared by CBS's underappreciated Person of Interest, in which an advanced artificial intelligence spits out the social security numbers of a person predicted to commit or be involved in a crime to a pair of dudes who investigate the situation and then act accordingly. Those two guys are Harold Finch and John Reese, who establish one of TV's best bro romances as the season progresses. Person of Interest from Westworld creator Jonathan Nolan goes beyond the basic procedural model to tackle artificial intelligence and government corruption better than just about anything else. It's also deceptively amusing, has a terrific LGBTQ theme, and a cute dog named Bear who will rip your throat out. White Collar This is a crook who helps law enforcement show. Similar to The Blacklist, FBI Special Agent Peter Burke strikes a deal with talented con artist Neil Caffrey, whom the agent has imprisoned, to do a work release program to assist Burke and his team in catching other white-collar criminals. The six-season USA series has a similar lighthearted tone with a combination of standalone Case of the Week episodes and season-long arcs, terrific guest performers, and a great supporting cast, including Neil's companion in crime and law enforcement, Mozzie, played by Willie Garson. Elementary Tune into Elementary if you enjoy watching a quirky guy be one step ahead of everyone else all across New York. Johnny Lee Miller plays a modern-day Sherlock Holmes, a brilliant but addicted English police consultant who works with the NY PD alongside Dr. Joan Watson, who is hired as his sober companion but eventually becomes his apprentice when it becomes clear that her medical knowledge is useful and she has an aptitude for investigation. Her mentor-mentee connection is similar to Red and Liz's, but without the difficulties of father-daughter relationships. The show ran for seven seasons on CBS and producers wrapped up the series last year. Burn Notice The Blacklist has a lot in common with USA's breezy seven-season action drama. It combines an episodic Case of the Week format and a light-hearted sense of humor, as well as season-long arcs about conspiracies that any Blacklist fan would enjoy. Michael Weston, played by Jeffrey Donovan, is a CIA operative who is blacklisted and returned home to Miami without explanation, where he must work as an unlicensed private investigator to make ends meet while trying to discover who burnt him and why. Bruce Campbell's well-connected, wisecracking brilliance is possibly the most amusing supporting character of any program on our list. Boston Legal James Spader's portrayal of Raymond Reddington is the best part of the Blacklist. He exudes a captivating energy that is entirely his own, and it's difficult to picture the program without him. The courtroom drama he directed before The Blacklist, Boston Legal, is significantly different from our beloved Blacklist, but no less spaderific. He portrays Alan Shore, a bright lawyer who works for Denny Crane, the firm's founder and best friend. Spader won three Emmys for his role as Alan Shore, once for The Practice, which spawned Boston Legal, and twice for Boston Legal, which aired on ABC for five seasons. Billions Billions is a Showtime drama about the ongoing personal and professional conflicts of attorney Chuck Rhodes and hedge fund titan Bobby Axelrod is the show on this list that is the least like The Blacklist, and it's difficult to compare them on a plot level, but there's a certain feeling that both the shows have. A number of factors contribute to this, including the New York filming locations, color palettes, the usage of many of the same character actors. At least seven persons have been on both programs, including Amir Arson and Henry Lennox, and the show's same double-crossing sense of humor. Red Reddington has the appearance of a character from Billions. He's a charismatic white-collar criminal, similar to Bobby, who also commits violent crimes. Graceland Undercover operatives from various agencies live together in a Southern California beach house in the film Graceland. They collaborate on a range of undercover investigations and build deep ties with one another. There are clear parallels between the Reddington Task Force close-knit team structure and undercover operations, as well as the secrets they maintain for one another. Paul Briggs, played by Daniel Sunjata, has questionable objectives and isn't hesitant to get his hands dirty or influence people in order to do what he believes is right. Much like Reddington, Briggs' friendship with Aaron 
Aaron Tveit's character Mike Warren is similar to Reddington's relationship with Elizabeth Keene. Mike's pupil develops and learns from the master in surprising ways, and Briggs is both a mentor and a corrupting influence on him. How to Get Away with Murder The intriguing relationship between Rabin Reddington and Elizabeth Keene, like the one between Annalise Keating and Wes Gibbons in How to Get Away with Murder, lies at the center of the blacklist. Fans are just as committed in learning the truth about Annalise's connection with Wes as they are in figuring out why Reddington cares so much about Liz. How to Get Away with Murder has a procedural Case of the Week format in its earlier seasons, in addition to the central romance. Similar to many of Reddington's blacklisters, the judicial proceedings and bigger plots frequently deal with social injustices and unscrupulous officials. Criminal Minds The carousel of characters in Criminal Minds was handled so well that it didn't matter. The thinking process that viewers had to go through in order to figure out not only who the killer was, but also why he or she may have done it, was what made this show so fantastic. The FBI profilers were tasked with penetrating criminal thoughts and determining what motivated them to commit crimes. It was intense in every way, and the writing made you feel like a member of the cast for at least an hour a week. Rather different to Blacklist, but still a show that's action-packed to keep you hooked. FBI, based in New York, is another fantastic television drama from the Dick Wolf dynasty, which includes Chicago PD, Chicago Fire, Chicago Med, and Law & Order SVU. The FBI is more like the Blacklist than the rest of his shows, as they fight terrorism, organized crime, and just about any other high-profile crime that can be found on the streets of New York. Maggie Bell and Omar Adam make an excellent team, but things weren't always easy for them in the beginning. Not to be outdone by the aforementioned shows, FBI nevertheless manages to track down the bad guys while leaving enough opportunity in the storylines for each character's backstory to be explored. SEAL Team SEAL Team is best described as action-packed throughout. Jason Hayes is the team leader, which comes with a great deal of responsibility. Hayes, who is recently divorced, must first cope with the high-stakes strain at work before dealing with his personal life. It's like seeing a live version of Call of Duty as his teammates struggle with their own backstories. In terms of action, SEAL Team does not disappoint. There are a lot of explosions, gunfights, and hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game. It may not be commonly regarded as must-see primetime television, but it is a must-see for fans of The Blacklist. The Wire The insight into various parts of society that viewers were provided set The Wire unique from most shows. Is the show based on cops, street hustlers, school officials, politicians, or the media? Fans of The Blacklist can leave the hit HBO show with a new perspective that isn't based on love or mystery, but still tells a compelling story. The characters in The Wire are considered to be among the best ever written in television history. The tales are so touching that when the program was at its peak, a character's murder made front page news in USA Today. Well, there you have it. So many TV series that are similar enough to Blacklist that you fans will enjoy watching. They're all shows that are filled with lots of drama and action to keep you on the edge of your seats. Thanks for watching!